Many years ago, I was traveling around America speaking and doing workshops. My pleasure is spending time with other light workers who have this amazing energy which causes me to just feel wonderful. You can't imagine what it's like to sit in front of a group of people who are so filled with love that you can hardly speak. But that's been my experience many, many times. One time in Dallas, Texas, I was giving a workshop and a lady came up to me and said, I would like to write your book. Now for me, this was a small miracle because I had promised myself I did not have to write. I didn't like to write, I liked to speak. But Luna Jensen, who helped me create the book, took 40 of my talks, recorded tape talks, and turned them into the book, No Time for Karma. Now, light workers is a term I'm fond of. Uh, I define light workers as those individuals on the planet not yet awakened, not yet enlightened beings, but individuals who have an understanding that is above and beyond the average uh, on the planet. Individuals who have developed a sense of connection with all of humanity, connection with planet Earth, uh, individuals who have compassion, have a desire to be harmless, have a desire to help move the entire population of the planet to the next level. So I have discovered light workers in many countries. My book went on the internet about 15 years ago and I made connections. The marvelous internet connects the whole world into one family. And I had connections from many, many countries. And the book has been translated now, just as Andrea translated it into Italian. Uh, many other people have come and translated it into their native language. So we are here for a reason. I often say we are on planet Earth for two reasons. The first reason is to complete our own healing. The first reason we are here is to awaken ourselves, to step off the wheel of karma, which I refer to as the wheel of pain and struggle, awaken ourselves, free ourselves from further drama, further pain, further struggle. Every human being does this eventually. The time right now happens to be a perfect time, a, a supportive time for creating our own reality in the way that we would like for it to be, a reality of bliss and joy and fun, uh, delightful lifestyle. So let me go back to what Luna did with the talks that I gave her. I actually did not realize that I had this theme that ran through all of my talks, all of my workshops. But Luna quickly recognized that. And the first chapter in the book is Earth School. So it is relatively easy for us to relate to a learning process as a process of going to school. But I see many similarities in this. On Earth, we get lessons. And the lessons are not imposed upon us as we near the end of our trip. We discover that the lessons were chosen by us, that we enrolled in this school, that we chose to learn certain things so that we would become free. Now, I talk about karma. Karma is uh, an interesting word. It comes from Eastern cultures. It comes from Hinduism. It comes from other Eastern religions. It is merely the law of cause and effect. We discover that everything in our life has been created and created by us, that there are no victims. Now that's, that's a difficult thing for the average person to believe. The average person believes that victimization is real, that people are victims of war, victims of disease, victims of the economy, uh, victims of many, many different things, victims of family members and things like that. We discover that this is a fair universe, that in this universe, victimization is absolutely not allowed. 
we will discover at some point on our journey that we have created our entire, what we refer to as reality on this planet. I use another analogy for reality. Reality is much like a motion picture, much like a video. We go for entertainment, and some people are on Earth simply because they enjoy the entertainment of it. Eventually, we learn to pick lives that will help us get free, help us become uh, unlimited, help us express our divine nature. But people choose lives for the purpose of progressing, becoming free, uh, moving up the ladder, stepping off the wheel of karma, uh, getting themselves free. Karma seems to be imposed on people. Why do people have, why do bad things happen to good people? Uh, all of us know, besides ourselves, uh, that th unexpected things have happened to very good people, very loving, kind people, still have to face their challenges. Now, let me say a word here about the time that we're living in right now. This is 2012, 2012. This is the opening of a door. This is a very significant time on our planet. This is when the shift exists, what I refer to as the big shift. There comes a time always, and the cycles repeat themselves, we're just repeating something that has happened before, there comes a time when it is time to graduate from school. This is not eternal. We do not do life after life after life after life forever. We do it until we catch on to the fact that we have been creating our reality. And then we learn how to create our reality in the way that we desire it. In this particular energy that we have right now, this comes around only once every 26,000 years. Now, I tend to refer to this as the Aquarian Age, the Age of Aquarius. It, it, there are 12 astrological ages, and as those ages come, there are different lessons taught on the Earth. You can learn different things. The Piscean Age, which we are just leaving, was most valuable for learning to not abuse power over other people. It's obvious people on this planet want control. They want to have power over other people. They want power over the monetary system. They want power over everything that anybody wants. They, they see that as their uh, path to wealth if they can have power. So we are now leaving that time and coming into what we might refer to as a new Garden of Eden. It is time for people to learn to love and to share and to care, for people to recognize that there's only one family on this planet. We come in many different colors, we come in many different sizes and shapes, many different ethnic backgrounds, nationalities, but we are quickly discovering that things like the internet, things like uh, jet plane travel, Things like television uh, make it a very small world. We can see what's going on in other countries uh, it, in real time. We see what's happening. So obviously this is a new age. This is a new time. This is a new day on Earth. So who are these light workers? Who are the people who have an interest in ending karmic struggle, ending pain and struggle forever? People like yourselves people who actually you will discover, if you have not already, many have already, that you volunteered to come to the earth at this particular time to assist in this transition. It is transition time. Now, recorded history for human beings does not go back very far, a few thousand years only. But if we go back 26,000 years, we discover what has been told to us only as mythology, things like the Garden of Eden, things when gods and goddesses walked on the planet. That time is coming again, and it will come because individuals like yourself are holding in your mind 
That's your creative power holding in your mind love, light, peace, joy, abundance, health, all things that all human beings desire to have. In this universe, there is a natural state of being. If you ask a human being what the natural state of being is, they most likely would say, it's the uphill battle that is my day-to-day -day life. It is pain, it is struggle, it is losing people you love. Actually, this is an abnormality in the universe. This is the toughest school there is. There is no place that is more expedient so far as learning is concerned, and also no other place that we could be where the challenges are this great. The normal state of being, and there are civilizations all over all of the universes, the normal state of being is one of happiness, is one of all the pressure is off is a state of abundance. This is a universal constant. That is where we are going. We are stepping out of the abnormality of pain and struggle and moving ourselves into bliss and joy and happiness. Eternal bliss and joy and happiness. And it does not happen because it is imposed on us. It happens because people like yourself Hold in mind, as best as you can, love and peace and joy, uh, knowing that we are all related and that somehow we are all connected and are all one. Many, many light workers and I would like to thank you for being on the earth at this time. It is a choice that you made. You came to be helpful. You came to be of service to mankind. You came to recreate the Garden of Eden on this planet. You came to share your knowingness, share your thoughts, your energy of love, light, happiness, and joy with every living thing on this earth. Thank you.